the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Okay, let's talk about the low current amp probes. And I can tell you right now, this is one of the most valuable pieces of diagnostic equipment you guys will ever own. These pieces of equipment are invaluable for checking ignition system problems. For example, we're gonna to prove to you and show you and demonstrate that if you have a triggering device problem causing a primary mistrigger, which will obviously cause a secondary misfire, your current probe amperage waveforms will alert you to that problem. So let's move on and let's show you what a good current ramping waveform looks like. We're looking at a GM3800 engine and as you can see looking at my trigger icon right here we are triggering off coil pack one and four. In other words at this point right here we turn primary current flow on so we're charging number one coil pack right here. You can see we peaked out at about six and a half amps of current flow. The amperage waveform dropped down and the firing event took place right here. What does the amperage waveform verify? That you had a good primary coil saturation function. In addition, remember I said a voltage trace by looking at the current limiting hump will not guarantee that the coil is properly saturated. Only an amperage probe or an amperage waveform will give you that kind of information. As you can see here, if this is coil pack one and four, this is six and three, and that's five and two, Notice that they are all uniform on a peak current value, meaning that virtually every one of those three coil packs were sufficiently saturated. In addition, notice the even spacing between the primary current functions, telling us that we didn't have a misfire, we did not lose a primary function, so if we're driving this vehicle down the road and we're, we are feeling a misfire symptom, with a current waveform on our lab scope screen like that, it tells us that that misfire is not on the primary side of the ignition system. The misfire has to be either on the secondary side of the circuit or an air fuel ratio or a density type misfire.